here's a quick little um, data point that I've often um, referred to as a belief and kind of here's some evidence if you have a, an unequed bandpass speaker and you can also plot its phase at the same time and then you apply a phasey EQ to correct it um, to be correct so here I'm applying a correctional filter to bring my magnitude back into agreeance with my bandpass shape the phase also becomes more agreeable so my theory is based on perfect world a belief that a speaker is really trying hard to make um, the right magnitude but the the room and the installation fight against it and if you can correct for the magnitude with the right equalizer you can also be correcting phase at the same time so here I'm just turning on and off so this is uncorrected a dip in the middle of my band pass corrected flatter magnitude and uh, also more linear phase so we're changing the time in the frequencies using an equalizer and um, yeah that's something a lot of people do know about but it's interesting how you can just get, come up find a little bit of data to help um, solidify your beliefs as you go along so we're just working on this mid-range open baffle at the moment and uh, it's looking uh, pretty nice I'm using four microphones and the last one's average of the four microphones as you can see, if you were just using the green line, you'd be EQing some things, putting some things in. If you're just using the green, uh, light, light green, grey, you'd be taking some out. But on average, those four mics uh, show me that it's not such a big deal if you move your head around, which is what most people do. And same with the phase, that's four microphone traces of the phase. Alright, that was just a quick one. We'll catch you later.